Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, look, look. I know, I know. It is officially OP10 in the East. Time is moving fast as hell. So I think it's time for us to cover everything that's new that OP10 literally just brought. I know there's a lot of hype for the Usopp, the Kin, even the brand new Trafalgar D Law. Okay. We got you covered. Now, when we actually talk about the deck list shown, don't ask me what the cards do because I actually have no clue what the duck cards do. I don't speak Japanese. Fact, not an opinion. Number one. And number two, we actually have a Japanese market watch so you guys can see what these cards are going for for usd over here us in the states so let's go look i've talked enough i've talked enough let's go to get straight into it the first thing i'm gonna show you guys is this right here i'm on the japanese the east one piece twitter page x page whatever the hell you guys want to call it only reason why we're here we're going to show you guys the brand new flagship cards as you guys can see the items for the flagship battle to be held at the authorized stores nationwide from january have been revamped the winner will receive a trafalgar d law and the top prize Prize winners will receive a charlotte pudding let's take a look at these here real quick before we actually get into the meta breakdown uh honestly i have no clue why they gave us two purple cards um they're just really loving the purple right now but it is what it is let's just go straight to the meta port so now it's time for the very first op10 tournament that just took place literally an hour or two ago with 80 players let's just go ahead and show and translate the event was fully booked with 80 attendees. The most popular is Black Teach. That's crazy because I've been telling y'all for a hot ass minute since summer of 2024. This is going to be the best deck. So let's keep on reading. In addition to being a big success in the previous environment, he received the appropriate strengthening cards and became number one. I hope you guys are, I hope you guys are looking forward to Blackbeard. The runner up in the distribution is Blue Black Usopp. Perhaps due to the influence of Sakazuki Rebecca who wrecked havoc in the past, he is the most used of the new leaders. The achievements of the other leaders are also worth paying attention to. So let's go over every single one of these decks. Number one with 16 tops, or not 16 tops, 16 decks showing up is Black Marshall D Teach. Second is black blue usopp and i'm gonna tell you this i know a lot of people are gonna say oh you were wrong about usopp you put usopp in like cold well wait until we get the top eight because like i said earlier this deck is just not it and you will see why but nonetheless this has 11 tops i keep on saying tops it's not top it's representatives okay the third best deck is blue dofi sitting at 10 the fourth is shanks at seven the next deck that's shown here is purple luffy sitting at seven people bringing this to the tournament next is red green smoker so red green smoker putting in damage i told you guys in the tier list video i just made yesterday op10 smoker will be an a1 deck and it's proving everything what i just said okay and the next deck we have is rob lucci of course i feel like rob lucci when we actually take a look at rob lucci here i feel like rob lucci was just ahead of its time i felt like the rest of the meta and cards just needed to catch up and now since everything is now starting to catch up that's the reason why i see black lucha here still viable next deck we have is three yellow kids so no nails actually there are possibly a nail in here from all the other decks but we have three kids we have two bonnies we have two rp luffy's right here which is crazy and we got two of a black deck i have no clue what it is but we just take a look at all these little columns uh this looks like rebecca rebecca showed up blue black rebecca showed up this looks like smoker uh purple black luffy um this may be a nail i honestly don't know what any of these other decks are just know there's a whole bunch of shit in this whole entire tournament game but when we just look at the top three decks top three threats well i wouldn't say top three top most represented decks is black beard okay usopp and blue dofi so let's go ahead and see how this translates to the top eight topping decks so the top eight topping decks are these here right here you guys see it let's go ahead and translate it okay many of the new leaders introduced today made it through the preliminary rounds blue dofamingo was very active in the previous environment it has fallen this is what i'm going to tell you as well i honestly feel like blue dofi is getting power crept 
and i've started to notice this at the tail end of opo9 in the east when it comes to like the second to last in the last tournament blue dofi is really falling out of the meta i think in our next op 10 tails i think i'm officially moving blue dofamingo to a1 because it look dude dofamingo is not even in the top eight usually it, this was the best deck now it's not even in the top eight and like what it says right here it has fallen there's no way to predict which leader will win videos of today's matches will be posted on our youtube so you guys want to check that out just click this but let's just go ahead and take a look blue black usab is actually trash in my opinion okay i was look i told y'all i told y'all that deck is only good only good if it's a black dominated man in my personal opinion okay that's just my opinion hopefully i'm proven wrong but when we just look at the top eight placements right here both blue dofi and blue back usopp is nowhere to be found and on top of all that on top of all that blue black usopp had the second most represented deck you mean to tell me none of them made them the top eight that deck just might be balls might, might just be monkey balls okay that's just my personal opinion but anyways let's go ahead and look at this we have two black beard we have one green yellow law okay we have one shanks we have one purple black luffy we have one purple luffy and we got one red green smoker you know what this list kind of looks like it kind of looks like my tier list i just put out every single one of these decks were either s tier a1 such as these two right here or these three shanks uh law and also smoker s tier was blackbeard and purple luffy and then the tier below that was uh i think it was what what, what was it brazy i think i put pb luffy here or i might put it in cold i don't know but i just gotta keep it a stack of few looks like our prediction was right when it came to the tier list everything that you guys see on the screen right here was definitely in our tier list that we literally just made if you guys haven't tapped in tap in i'm actually very surprised that we don't have more teach okay i honestly thought it was going to be a tier zero format but just based off this first tournament it seems like teach isn't really that dominating only two and everything else just one looking pretty solid even though this is the very first tournament of op10 still uh, it look it's not an rp law situation from what it looks like right now okay but we just take a look at the winner so this is the winner of the tournament okay congratulations to toro so luffy for using the new cards chopper and kamikai to win the championship so the winner so this was the winner of this brand new tournament this op10 tournament was this red shanks and i'm telling you right now red shanks stops about to go up if red shanks is really about that business it's on some shicey ass time fuck your bitch type of time where it's look it can even contend to be the best deck in the format with blackbeard you guys better get your silvers rallies you guys better get your dragons okay because these two cards are about to hit the moon fact not an opinion the main new card from this set that really pushed this card to the next level was this card right here i actually have no clue what it does but it is the brand new card out of op10 the next topping deck that we do have is purple luffy i put purple luffy in s tier because i, I just i don't know i just feel like this is an s tier deck and clearly the streets the streets know what they're saying here so this is the purple deck that did top um when we actually just look at everything this almost kind of looks like an op9 deck to be honest with you this honestly just truthfully just looks like an op9 deck i don't really see anything new from op10 in this list if i'm wrong let me know below but this truly just looks like an op9 list we actually got another tournament to report okay we another tournament is this right here it's a three on three 30 teams the winner in odyssey limb blue dofi and blue and purple dofamingo so this is the 30 teams three on three which means that's 90 players let's just go ahead and take a look this card this deck actually went seven and oh Lim actually went seven and oh they actually did Lim actually did better than blue doflamingo and purple luffy let's let's just take a look at this what the fuck is going on he is running the four kid okay he's running the three zoro and honestly the newest card that i see that's in here is this adele i know this anel's new i know this drake all this this mihawk's new and i'm pretty sure this dofi is new as well and i think maybe this card as well i don't know what any of these cards do we have to wait until one piece top decks update we'll have another updated you know official you know deck list video but I, look i have to report you guys news lynn 
coming in perfect from the 3v3 actually insane i always thought this deck was trash it must have got a power boost and then we just take a look at the blue dofi everything looks exactly the same maybe you know yeah everything looks the same i was gonna say this is different but nope this is literally everything the same so let's go ahead and click this and this is purple luffy so like i said i'm still telling you guys purple luffy is still s tier s tier deck in my personal opinion and he is actually not even using anything from op10 he's literally using everything from op09 so if you guys are a purple you know a purple luffy player wondering if this is going this deck's really going to carry you out to op10 yes this deck is showing up in the last tournament I just showed you with the Blackbeard being number one. This just won a 3v3 tournament. So Purple Luffy S tier like I predicted. So while recording, we ended up getting another locals report. He went 4-0. I know it's not really that big of a feat, but let's be real, it's day one. And when it comes to a big long event like what we saw in the beginning of the video, uh, this deck may not last but when it comes to like flagships for you know four rounds this deck actually might be a somebody let's just take a look the winner was isaiah who used blue black usopp so this is the topping deck for blue black usopp at pretty much locals let's just take a look at it here real quick um he is running the toy soldier the rebecca they're, the rebecca they're still doing the rebecca gecko combo Bro, they, I'm gonna tell you right now, they're gonna have to ban that. They still doing this shit. They still doing this Rebecca combo. They is also running the two Rebecca. Uh, three of these, this Luffy's actually pretty shiced. And yeah, this is this is the pretty much the topping list, the locals deck list. I know locals isn't really a lot. When we just looked at everything else that, you know, we just saw with the bigger scale tournaments, there was literally zero on the top eight. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt. It is day one, but let's go ahead and get straight to our next deck. This is the new smoker list. This is what he's opting out for. He is also running the two Zoros. So Zoro will be making a comeback for Rad Beams. He's running the four kids, very good at lockdown. It's crazy that this car was from OP01 and it's still used as much as it is and um yeah this, this deck really just seems solid it seems like it's just really the locked down the board and almost kind of like uh probably like bonnie locking down the board but yeah it's still a little bit aggressive with some of the red cards as well like i said earlier i'm not really too sure what any of these cards do but as soon as the sim gets updated you guys can reference this list and just see if the day one shit was actually working for you okay we actually got one more we actually got three more deck lists we're gonna go over just give me one second while i transition to you know our next slides give me one second so as the time of recording this i was not able to find that top eight uh law green law deck so i know a lot of you guys are probably looking for a green law deck and this is it i mean this isn't particularly it but this is just a build i found off of youtube i'll have his uh channel linked in the description as well if you guys just want to look at it mind you it isn't all in japanese so you know like i said i don't know what any of these cards do but this is the topping green yellow law deck i know there's a lot of fans but look what i just said this deck in the first tournament just got top eight look what card you guys see at the bottom this cavendish this cavendish i told you guys in the market watch if you guys have been paying attention if this deck does anything this card will skyrocket if you guys are watching this video and plan on playing this deck or anything with this card pick up this card right now okay pick up this card right now i'm warning you i'm warning you this is the deck list more likely in the topping top eight deck list they use four as well this deck i've seen a couple matches with this particular deck very fast paced swarms the board it's like a raid you it's like a crazy version of raid you so if this is something that you are interested in here's the deck list with the ratios in the top right the number one thing i'm gonna tell you about this deck is pick up the cavendish right now while you can so this next deck list is for the red blue caesar the clown <laughs> you guys saw the results you literally saw no caesar the clowns i told you i think it probably needs to be developed and you know figured out it is the day one list this is a day one list i'm not sure if this is going to be viable but like i said earlier the main reason why we're taking a look at these lists is to see what we should be buying now that will be used in op10 and op10 silver's rally and dragon will be used so if you guys haven't picked up these two cards these cards will skyrocket i don't even know what these two cards are at right now you guys need to pick these up these are staples in any red deck if you plan on playing anything with red more likely you might even use one or two or even four in this deck's case okay red blue caesar they do nothing in the tournament but here's a deck list if you guys 
do want to you know dabble with it once the sim gets updated let's go ahead and get straight to our next deck and for our last brand new leader featuring op 10 a deck list here we have it right here like i said earlier in all my other deck lists that we seen already you guys want to look at cards that you guys can pick up now just in case they rock it while they're cheap right now we're looking at the viola viola will be used in this deck if you guys and also I'm not sure if it uses it in a uh, green yellow uh law let me know below if they do or not but for right now if kid if you guys do plan on playing kid first off ygod yellow gang or die ygod shout out to all my delinquents you guys already know how we moving down you know i always got to show the yellow gangs love you know it's the best color in the game this card right here it, it did skyrocket when pudding first came out it was up to like 15 20 for the regular version and it's ebo1 and as the time of recording right now there is no reprint for this so if you guys are looking to pick up this deck when this deck releases you might want to keep your eye out on this viola another card that you guys probably might want to keep your eye out on is this ace and like i said earlier ace you guys need to be picking up this ace ace is as cheap as it's going to be right now if yellow truly does take off and this card is featured i can see this ace card being at least 40 or 50 dollars okay because who knows when this card will get reprinted it came out in op07 i have no clue when it's going to get reprinted so pick up your aces now while you can the next card we can really just look at is uh i mean we can look at the onamis and onamis and all these other cards but th those are probably the main two cards these two cards right here the new cards that i do know for our yellow gang users is this card if you guys don't know what this hawkins card does pretty much once you summon it and if it gets ko'd you pretty much rip a life from the opponent if it's ko'd so it's really shicey and this card i'm not really sure what it does either but nonetheless this is the day one deck list for are used this kids yellow players we're not done we have a market watch i know we have a japanese market watch never done one of those before on the channel let's go ahead and get straight into it so here is our day one one piece card game op10 royal blood market watch i know this is crazy you guys probably never seen a japanese market watch on the youtube streets for the state let's just take a look at this so we have the trafalgar d law this is the manga a lot of people are bitching about it it should be a dofi it should be a dofi bro y'all gotta start but y'all gotta stop bitch dofi gonna get blessed eventually but from where it stands right now we're at 880 dollars usd um it's really not i mean honestly i don't like it okay i don't i don't like it i i'm just not a fan i, I don't really like a f look i'm just not a big fan of a lot of these mangas because honestly it just looks like they just put the card art on some on some fucking newspaper i'm just not a fan of mangas in general if you guys want to pay close to a rack on it go ahead this is another new card this is used in the shanks this is the alternate art this this card even had a special trailer for this card so if you guys haven't seen it just go ahead and check it out i don't even know the name of this card but this card is at 71 dollars. this is mainly used in shanks and this is the reason and why that shanks deck ended up getting first place in that first tournament i showed you earlier in the video okay next card we got right here is this usopp the one that rests this um i forgot the name of it but it's using every single purple deck pretty much getting rid of any blockers mainly my goddamn saba when i'm playing against the purple decks i fucking hate this card but this art does look very beautiful very very beautiful in my personal opinion next card we got right here is this white beard and everybody's saying this will be the most popular card from the set everybody says this is the look best looking art out of any other card in the whole entire one piece card game let me know below but if my personal opinion this card art does look shy i mean when we just look at all the detail you have everybody in the white beers pirates i mean just the detail in this card is actually unmatched very beautiful card one of the best looking card i feel like it may be the best looking card tell me below what you guys think very popular card and that's the reason why it is currently sold out Next card we got right here is the Kuzan. This is the Kuzan ultimate art that really just pushes Blackbeard to the next level. This is the ultimate version, and Kuzan's my favorite character in the in the whole entire One Piece. So I won't be using this in BY Luffy, but for all my Blackbeard players, I am actually very, very jealous of you that you can even play this card. We're sitting at $58 low stock, so you already know this is gonna get bought out because Blackbeard will be the best deck in the format. Uh, this is the pudding. I ain't gonna lie, I don't do not know why they gave this pudding a fucking SP. They should have had this pudding be the four drop pudding, the one that resets your hand. 
I don't even understand why they gave the two drop. I would have rather seen the four cost one, but it is what it is, $56. Um, let me just take a look at, we'll just take a look at a couple more. Slampy, my personal opinion, I'm not a fan of this Slampy. I'll still be using my regular one with the donuts. A lot of people like this Sanji one. It's, yeah, it's cool. Five drop Sanji, it's cool. But they did put a lot of, lot of fucking artwork into it. You see all the girls, all the bitches down there. Crazy art, crazy art. Uh, this is the alternate art for the law, the secret. Uh, like I said, I'm just not a really big fan of it. I mean, when you just look at him, looks like he's just constipated here, just clenching his teeth like that. Not a big fan. This is the alternate art OP 10 liter, and a lot of people don't like this. Only thing I don't understand about this particular car is why they got to do his lips like that. He looked like he's on Instagram trying to take an IG post. You got to pucker up your lips, bro. Like, why are you? Why is your lips like that, bro? That's the only thing. It's like, bro. Out of all the arts, I mean, everything else looks shice, but I don't know, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, y'all could have took a different pose from the anime. I'm just not really feeling this one. This is the other secret rare, the Luffy that's mainly used in Rebecca and also Usopp very shice card um you know it's it's gear fourth you know what i mean what what else can you say about it what else can you say about it the other leader the other popular everybody's gonna be talking about is this blue black usopp like i said earlier i'm not a fan of this leader i feel like it's mid i feel like it's nothing but hype but they did put a lot of design work into this art i'm really a big fan of this art in my personal opinion sitting at 30 dollars for the east this is, and a lot, this is another thing too. A lot of people are complaining about these arts. This art right here for kid is shiesty. This looks like one of those 90 comic or animes you used to watch style into the card. I am a huge fan. This probably might be one of my favorite arts in the whole entire set is this particular art. If kid gets a boost or somebody breaks kid, we might even switch to kid. I'm just playing. We staying on BY Luffy fact, not an opinion, but we're sitting at $26. I love this art of this kid. And um, let's just keep on going. Let's look at this Rebecca here so this is the brand new rebecca everybody's saying it's the gecko 2.0 this is the art we're sitting at 23 dollars for the east in my personal opinion um rebecca is one of the best bitches in the whole entire anime i mean y'all can say whatever you want i got taste a lot of y'all motherfuckers don't y'all and a lot of y'all motherfuckers talk about what looks good still wearing GameStop shirts with dickies on with some converse okay so we can't even take you serious i'm telling you right now rebecca kind of bad in my personal opinion this is the gecko 2.0 all sitting at 23 dollars okay so uh let's just keep on going there's only a couple more cards i actually want to take a look at maybe this sugar and this is what i'm saying the best looking arts are always the always the worst cards this art looks crazy this art looks amazing in my personal opinion it's just this leader is trash 21 dollars. actually a shame a fucking shame okay we have the altar to shigi right here sitting at 21 dollars. this is used in a uh, smoker decent card in my personal opinion I'm surprised they even added this leader like this, gang. I'm really, really surprised. This is the brand new uh, alternate art leader. I'm very surprised that they even added this leader. But this deck is a A1 tier 1 deck. It's not S tier. It's right below that. So if you guys are looking forward to playing this deck, look at the deck list that I provided and try to cop some of those cards now so things don't skyrocket just in case, let's say, this becomes an S tier. You don't want to be paying premium by the time we get OP10, okay? Another card that we have here, when we just keep on looking, um, we have the regular versions. You guys see them right here and yeah i don't want to spend all day on this to be honest with you guys so if you guys do want to look at this i'll i'll put the link in the description the last card we're gonna look right here is this doflamingo purple card this is mainly used for all our purple uh green dofi players i told you this might be an a1 and the only reason i put it in a1 i know it's probably not a1 is because it's a fan favorite i'm hoping you guys break it just so you know you know, you guys can actually use one of your guys' favorite decks, okay? Came out in OP04, but this art alone looks pretty shice to my personal opinion. And yeah, that's all I got. Crazy, crazy time to be alive right now. OP010 day one is here. And hopefully this video can, you know, bring some insight of what the hell is even going on in the East, okay? We have OP09 coming out in two weeks, but right now it's OP010 time to shine. But look, that's all I got. But look, before I go, if you was feeling the vibes, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It all go.